Imagine that you're 17 years old, suddenly alone in the world, setting off on a journey that you hope will change your life. You arrive in a new city that's noisy, crowded, confusing, and not particularly welcoming. The only transportation you can afford can't take you where you need to go. And then you meet some interesting new people. Welcome to the world of Rebel Mechanics. Hi, I'm Shanna Swenson, author of Rebel Mechanics, your August uppercase book. This book is set in 1888 New York City, though it's not quite the same 1888 New York that we know. That's because history went in a different direction, which tends to happen when magic gets involved. So let's look at some of the places where events in the book happen and how they might be different from the way they are in the real world, or some places you might even still be able to find in the real world. For instance, the Revolutionary War didn't happen in the late 1700s because of the magic thing, so you won't find things named after George Washington, and that means that what we know as Washington Square is Greenwich Square in Greenwich Village. In the late 1800s to around the turn of the century, Fifth Avenue alongside Central Park was lined with these fabulous mansions, and most of them are no longer there since that's some really valuable real estate. The ones that are left are now museums. One of these is the Jewish Museum, which is a lot like the way I imagined the Linden home in the book to look, although it was built later and is much farther uptown. The West Battery Fort is Castle Clinton, which was built for the War of 1812 and went on to be used as an entertainment venue, an immigration center, and as an aquarium. You can still see it today when you buy tickets for the boat ride to the Statue of Liberty. The Governor's Mansion in the book is about where the Cloisters Museum is today in our world. It's on a commanding perch overlooking the city. And there once used to be a fort nearby, and you can still see the ruins in the park next to the cloisters. There once was an opera house at what is now Astor Place, but by the period of the book, it had kind of fallen downhill as the entertainment district moved uptown. And that's the basis for the theater where the rebel mechanics meet in the book. Now hop on board your magical jalopy and join me for a trip back in time to another New York, where you never know what might happen. You could even find yourself soaring over the city in an experimental airship, heading toward an exciting future.